Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I do fountain pen, ink, and paper reviews. And lately, I've been going through a small collection of Waterman pens shared by a great friend of the channel. And today I'm going to wrap up that collection with what is a very interesting Waterman fountain pen. It is the Harley Davidson fountain pen. Kind of a novelty, tribute, uh, crossover pen with some interesting details. So let's flip that camera and dive right in. All right, so now we have the Harley Davidson powered by Waterman. And this is the box that this pen came on. This pen is probably about 10 years old, but it's pretty much new old stock. A pretty new pen and new to the owner. And it comes in this red case. And I've seen that this particular design is, there's a little bit of variance, probably depending on which year your pen was produced. But it comes in either this kind of an orangish red, a more red than orange, or horizon orange by harley davidson and then there is black and blue now some of those colors may have been available in rollerball or ballpoint instead of fountain pen because all were offered or they may have all been in these various colors couldn't really find information to confirm that and neither could the owner sometimes you know information for pens that are out of production is harder to find than you might think even with the power of the interwebs. Anyway, this is not powered by the interwebs. This is powered by Waterman. So why would a French pen company make an American motorcycle-themed pen? Well, I think the obvious answer is probably dollars. <laughs> Doing a little bit of uh, money-making off the Harley-Davidson name, so that crossover, I guess, is obvious, but it's also just a tribute to the popularity of a tremendously good motorcycle with a great history. Now, I should say, the viewer who loaned this pen to me for review has been the one who loaned all these Watermans, and I really appreciate that as we wrap it up with this last pen. But also, as I was looking over the notes he sent me on these pens, he was a motorcycle mechanic in his youth, but he mainly had British and Japanese motorcycles. Says this is his first Harley Davidson. So uh, there you go. Everybody needs a Harley in their life sometime, I think is probably true, or at least that's what I've been trying to convince my wife and my wallet of, but neither do anything but laugh at me. Anyway, <laughs> the, uh, the pen, look at that. Isn't that cool? So you open that gas tank up and you find this fountain pen and of course the warranty and instructions and all that good stuff and then there's also a waterman cartridge back there but let's get to the pen the pen is what we're really interested in there's a lot going on here and i think it's really well done let me just tell you i don't always like the overdone and i'm not saying that this one is but overdone tribute or novelty pens and a lot of times they're they're more expensive uh, there sometimes you look at uh for example the mont blanc aztec pen incredible craftsmanship, beautiful materials. There's really some incredible creative design, and I can see why a person might be drawn to that as a work of art. But as a usable pen, <laughs> who's fooling anybody, right? A lot of times they're just not usable, uncomfortable, and uh, to the point of being silly, okay? And then, then that happens. This pen, at least to me, is not that. It has some really cool details, and they all seem to be really nicely done, but none of them make the pen unusable. And I think that's the balance that ought to be there in a pen like this. So it's not overwrought with details, but it does have some cool mechanical details, such as at the end of the barrel here. And then you have the push rods here as the clip, which is really kind of interesting. So the push rod clip is also spring loaded and it works really well. I'm gonna mess with that too much, not my pen, but it works really well and looks, I think, quite good. Let's put that up next to actual push rods on a Harley engine. And you can see where they used the fin motif. This is certainly not in exact dimensions, though the, the push rods are actually kind of close. This certainly is not. But it does, it, it lets your brain think Harley. And we see more design here at the finial with kind of a blanked out Harley logo, just the outline of the Harley Davidson logo there. And you'll see that echoed again on the nib. But before we get to that nib, let's look at some other design details. First, it is a metal lacquered barrel with 
plastic sleeve insert so that uh, the threading is plastic on plastic. And then we have the converter. It's always nice when those are included. And for the most part, it looks like a typical Waterman converter, except I notice that it has this grooving here at the uh, collar. So a stainless steel collar that is grooved. Those are not threads. It's not proprietary like that. Now, before I tighten up the barrel, let me just show you this has a little bit of play. I think that's by design because when you put the barrel back on, that play goes away and everything is as solid as it should be. I would consider, by the way, this the grip. I noticed that in a couple of reviews, uh, this was mentioned as the grip, I suppose. I mean, there are a couple of wackadoodle pins that had that smaller grip section, but I don't really I don't really think that's what this is. Uh, I would hold the pen here and just assume that's the way that it's meant to be. And if I'm wrong, well, you know, sue me. <laughs> now let's look at that nib. It has a really good engraving of the Harley Davidson logo. I like that. And this is a medium, as you can see there. And then, of course, it has the typical Waterman plastic feed. And I expect that it writes quite well, but we'll put it to the test here in just a second. You'll notice that it is a shortened thin slit without a breather hole. So overall, I think the design is sharp and I think it's fun. I really do like that. It does have just enough detail to really make you think Harley without it being, you know, overly kitschy. If that's, is kitschy? Kitschy is a word? Is that a word? Can we make that into an adjective? We're going to try it today. Now let's do a size comparison and then we'll see how the pen writes. All right, for a quick size comparison, of course, we have the Harley Davidson pen, and then we have the Jinhao 86, ever popular, the Lamy Safari, the Waterman, because you got to have a Waterman in the lineup, right? The Waterman emblem, and the Pilot Metropolitan. And here we have the pens uncapped and unposted. And rotating the pens to make sure they stay in the frame, we have the pens posted. All right, I have been so curious to see how well this pen writes. Now I'm going to remind you, I'm not going to write with this posted. I'm just going to put Harley Davidson HD. You'll know what it is, right? This is a medium nib and I can already tell you it's really writing quite smoothly. And again, I'm going to use this as the grip section. It's not the most comfortable in the world. As I said, sometimes the the form of design does not quite follow function, you know, on, on tribute pins and novelty pins and things like that. And that might be the case here. This is Waterman Serenity Blue. Not just in keeping, though, with the Waterman theme. It's also because it is a well-behaved ink, and this is not my pen. Wetness. A little bit drier than some mediums, but not bad. I mean, you can see that the flow is nice. Writing nice and smoothly. So, you know, just writing in general looks good. I think that all writes well. One of my childhood heroes was Evil Knievel. I liked the stunts, you know? So what do I think about the pen? The pen is fun. I like the design. I really do. And, you know, I get that, you know, that's uh, one of those novelty kind of things. Is there anything wrong with that? Nope. So I think it's a really cool pen. Now, you know, I kind of think I forgot to show you this part of its design. Harley Davidson here on this trim band looks really good. And the Waterman is well done. And again, it says powered by Waterman and France, and I think that's all well done. All the details are 
nicely done. I think it's a fun pen. If you can find one at a good deal, I think you'll enjoy it. Is it an everyday pen? No, but it's not meant to be. It's it's a fun pen and it's a conversation piece. It might be what we would call in Texas a barbecue pen. The push rod sticking out of your pocket, that's just kind of one of those things. All right, there you go. The Harley Davidson Waterman fountain pen. Thank you again for loaning me this and the other pens. I really appreciate it and have enjoyed looking over them. All of you, God bless you and have a great week.